America's coasts on the front line of climate change. Rising sea levels and worsening storm surge are taking a toll on U.S. shorelines. Changes that are expected to continue and even accelerate. Now, six months after Superstorm Sandy, state and local officials are sharing strategies on how to deal with the rising tides. What we've really got a glimpse at is our collective future. Estimates of how much sea levels will rise vary greatly. A worst case scenario would bring two feet of sea level rise by 2050. Clearly, we know climate change and sea level rise is, is right here. We're living it right now. From Miami to Maine, officials are looking at ways to protect their coastlines and their residents. In Florida, some counties are combining efforts. We all have different party affiliations. We have different issues within our communities, but we have come together on the issues of climate change and resiliency. For many, Hurricane Sandy was a wake-up call. We're right in a period where we're expecting high tide within the next hour. Potentially catastrophic storm surge flooding that's going on right now. If you look at the observations, the surge right now is twice as high as it was during Irene. This is a significant storm surge event for New York City, something that we haven't really seen in the city's history. Experts say storm surge flooding will increase with rising sea levels, jeopardizing coastal communities, sewage systems, and drinking water supplies. Also at risk, essential infrastructure like subway systems. The, the aha moment or the lesson learned was these things are very unpredictable. And the new normal is it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The Army Corps of Engineers has begun a two-year study to gauge how other projects held up under the weight of Sandy. They're also devising a plan for all the mid-Atlantic states. That includes asking questions about how to rebuild or if to rebuild. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass.